Hey everyone, my name is Hayden and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be adding navigation to our navigation bar in our header and adding lots of new pages to our website. Cool, so if you followed along in the last video, we added React Router into our project which allows us to navigate and change and re-render components on our website. So what we're going to do is expand on that now and change our navigation bar that we made at the very start of this project so that when we click on those different buttons at the top it will change the page contents and we can have different pages rendering so we can have our home and our about and our shop page um, and basically flesh out and make it feel like a lot more of a real real world website now so what we're going to end up with at the end of this video is something that looks like this where you have a page title here that indicates what url you're on so here i'm on the home page it renders the home when I'm on the about, it renders the about title, portfolio, shop, blog, contact. And this is the same React component, it's just a page title, but depending on what button we click depends on what we pass, what text we pass through to it. So not only are we going to be adding lots of new pages to our website, but we're also going to learn how to pass props down into different React or child React components so that they can, so we can have one React component that is customizable depending on what props we pass to it. So for each page that renders on the screen, we're gonna have a page title component and the title that is displayed on the screen is going to be different depending on what page we're rendering. So when we render the home page, you'll have home on it. And when you render the about page, you'll have about on it. But the React component that we're going to be using is consistent and the same. The only thing that we're changing is the string input that we're passing into it. I'll explain that more in the code. Cool. So what I have here is Visual Studio Code on the left and our website on the right. Um, if you're not up at this point, there is links to the GitHub down below, which you can follow along and get up to this point. So we've installed React Router. Uh, so we can now click on these buttons and our website changes depending on what button we click. So before we start, I kind of want to tidy everything up here so what i want to do is extract router from app.js into index.js so that it is in our um our root of our um folder so again react router dom uh, i want to import browser router as uh, router and then i just want to wrap the reason I'm doing it like this is because um, it's just nice to have stuff that's like wrapping our entire app in this file um, and it keeps it all separate and segregated away because this is something that our entire app needs so just keep it in there it's in one place it's all good. So that means now we can get rid of this um, and get rid of this because they are not needed anymore uh, and we can remove it from our import statement up at the top here so now all we should have is um, switch and root. What I want to get rid of is all these break lines as well because they look disgusting. I kind of just did them as a quick little hack um, whilst we were doing it, but you can see that all um, piles up. So what I want to essentially do is just push the footer down to the bottom of the page. And in order to do that, you just need to go into footer CSS. So in the footer class up here, I just want to change this to position um, fixed. Uh, position fixed, uh, stick to the bottom please by zero pixels and uh, set your width to 100% and then if we save that you can see the footer is now pushed all the way down to the bottom there so we can close out of that uh, and we can get rid of all these links because we don't need them either and we can remove the link there so now all we should have is switch and root. So first things first we are going to need to make this new page title component so i want you to go into uh, source components common new folder page hyphen title uh, and then in that same thing as always page title dot jsx um, here import react from react import My spelling just goes out the window whenever I record any of these videos. It is so annoying. Um, so let's make a page title. <laughs> See? <laughs> page title. Um, return. See? Look, I just, I just can't win. Class name, I want to give this a class name of title. Um, um, and here, what we want to do 
is depending so each button that we click over here on our web page so when i click home and about and portfolio and all these buttons um depending on what we pass through to page title because we can pass what's known as props through and in order to do that you just need to put props into the um, function here um, so what I'm going to do is I want to pass a keyword argument called title through to page title that the page title component can then pull out of this props uh, variable and then stick into the actual thing that we render here and in order to do that you just need to declare that right um, it's going to be a constant get me the title from props slightly weird syntax this and it took me a bit of time to get used to when I first saw this but basically this is just destructuring this props variable and it's ripping title out of it and turning it into a constant so all I need to do come down here is then just say right I want here to render whatever this title variable is um, so that is all we need to do there I want to export default page title like we do let's also implement page title.css Uh, and so page title.css is very simple and um, we just want to make it look cool so I want to say font family uh, Roboto uh, do we have a Roboto rolled? Uh, Roboto thin is what we want font size needs to be extra large text transformation I want to put everything to uppercase and display um, flex I just want to get this stuff in the middle of the screen justify content center and uh, margin let's for example put it 40 pixels from the top and zero pixels from the side and um, so that's just the CSS that implemented there so you can see this yeah all this page title does is take props rips the title variable out of it and then um, puts it into here and renders it uh, so one last thing we need to as always have an index which imports page title from page title and export default page title and now this becomes super easy because we can just go into common index.js duplicate this line page title from page title Double E. I mean, I just can't can't win. I can't spell. Um, page title. So we've now got this in our common index.js. That's all we need to do in here. And simply, we can just import page title from our common section. And that is it for creating the rank component. Now, what I want to do is render a different page title depending on what uh, page we click on. So, for example, for the path of slash, we want home. So, what I'm going to do here is render page title pass it a title variable called home um, and that's all we need to do there and basically I just want to copy and paste this for all of the pages that we have so we have what's after home it's about uh, I want to render about I'm not worrying about case here because we did that CSS um, that sorted that all out for us whenever the portfolio route is uh, displayed I want you to render portfolio after portfolio we have shop what's after shop uh, I have to scroll blog and contact uh, I zoom that in on my web browser so you guys can see it easier I find sometimes when I watch the videos back um, you know it's quite hard to see what's going on so I just zoom that in there there we go so that basically is now saying you know when I click on each of these buttons so when I have home so what we're gonna do is change the nav bar so when it changes the URL for each of these buttons you know when it sees contact it will render a page title with contact when it sees a blog it will render a blog shop portfolio about home uh, all good stuff there so now let's do that let's go into navbar and go into navbar.jsx and here we've just got these as basic links so we don't want them anymore we want to use the actual link um, from react router dom uh, and all we basically need to do is replace this now with a uh, link to so we just change I've just changed all these links now to rather than pause, being an actual HTML link there a react router dom link that points to these different so when we click on home we go to slash when we go on about we go to about portfolio blah 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 all um, good stuff there I just need to fix some syntax there 
So that's that saved. That is all of that done. We can now exit out of navbar um, and go back into app.js. And that's pretty much it now. So when you can see, uh, we're currently on the home page and we are rendering a home there. And when I click on the about button now, about gets rendered there, the URL changes to about portfolio, shop, blog, contact, zoom out. <laughs> oh, that's all we've got, yeah, cool. Um, blog, contact, shop, portfolio, about, you know, you can see we're rendering now. So we're using one, one React element, which is our page title. We're passing a different variable through to it, depending on what URL we are rendering. And these buttons are just doing, like saying, right, change the URL to shop. Uh, and then it comes into here, looks for the shop route, and it knows that in the shop route, I need to render this page title with shop. And then all page title does is renders whatever we pass through to it which is just the shop. So you can see here how we like kind of, we've basically got navigation around the website. So you can imagine here that rather than actually just rendering a page title, we can actually render uh, more stuff here. So on the homepage, you know, you can have a couple of images and all the good stuff on the portfolio. You could have some work we've done before on the shop. You know, you've got a couple of products we can buy. We can, we're basically starting to build up the website and flesh it out a bit more. There we go. We have fully functioning website now. We have a navigation bar at the top that you can click and change uh, page or change what's rendered on the page for each different page now so we can basically start fleshing out each page now into its own um, specific thing that we want on that page from so the portfolio we can have a couple images on the work we're working on on the shop we can have some stuff we buy but I wanted to kind of get across in this in, in this video specifically you know how that we can use one react component and passing different props into that react component the page title we can render different things but use that a really good paradigm in coding is just this reusability so if you can reuse as much as you can like we're reusing that page title on each page because it's the same thing it just has different text on it that's really good so we can we can use that around our app and that's why we put it in the common components uh, folder because you know it's common all of the pages use it so hopefully yeah now we can start expanding out building a few more pages um, and you know fleshing out the shop page and the home page and the contact us page uh, and we can do some walkthrough tutorials on that please give this video a like and thumbs up if you enjoyed it uh, please comment down below if you have anything you want to see in the next videos coming up or if you didn't like it please also comment it's always good to get some feedback please check out my uh, playlist as well that you know will get you to this point of the website if you think that you well we've jumped really quickly here you know check out the uh, the video tutorials and, and they'll get you up to this point there's a github repo as well there for you that's all for now um, I hope to see you in the next video guys thank you very much for watching and have a great day see you later Thank you.